So this isn't really about electronics, it's really just about what's showing up in thrift stores, at least in Toronto at the moment. And like most people that mucked about with electronics, I've got a bunch of Arduinos, well this is a clone, around. This is a, a nano clone. This is, I've used this one quite a bit, it makes a nice light controller. But I did pop into the uh, uh, Salvation Army store today and I found this for, well you can see the prices on it, $6.99. And what we're seeing is we're starting to see these starter kits that people bought as gifts start to show up in the, you know, in the thrift stores. And I've been on, on the lookout for these for a while and this is the first one I found. And, you know, this is just another Arduino clone. These, this particular kit goes for about $40 Canadian on Amazon, which is actually a pretty good deal. But, uh, you know, I went through it. It's complete as far as I can tell. So we've got, what do we got in here? We've got an Uno clone, right? Um, I did power it on and the light flashes. So it just, it's starting anyway. You know, we've got a table, like we all need more of those. But you know, I've never bought one of these kits, so it's kind of fun. You got the dis you know, the display for the controller chips. There's a blob on the back. Some resistors of relatively useful sizes. You can see that someone did use this kit a bit, right? Because there's some resistors down at the bottom. Uh, We've got an unused shield. We've got a mini um, breadboard. We've got another one of these cheap breadboards, which are always nice to have around. Right, the uh, I think this is a um, a uh, an ultrasonic distance mesh detector. That might be fun. Right. There's one of these little power supplies things. I have a habit of blowing these up because if you short them, they're done. So <laughs> I've gone through a few of those over the years. Um, they're awfully convenient though if you want three volts and uh, just want to plug in a USB power bank. You can plug in a USB power bank and you'll get your three volt output. This one actually looks a little better than some of the ones I've had. Um, I don't know. we got a servo, you know, this is the stuff that tends to come. Anyway, but I went through it all, oh, even the battery is there, right? So the point is really, have a look, right? Because at current prices, I mean, what is an, a real Uno goes for like $24, $25 Canadian, right? Was that an Uno? Maybe an Uno's less, let's just look. Yeah, how about that? I mean, and these clones go for like $20, right? Or $15, $15, $20, if you can get them at the moment, because of course, these have become a little hard to find in recent years. But you know, if you're, if you're down at the thrift store, have a look through the bins of plastic containers, because you never know. I mean, I won't build the projects that this is intended for very likely, but you know, I might have a use for a display. I don't, I don't do much with digital electronics, but you know, these are always useful to have around. Anyway, just thought it was fun, a fun find and kind of made my afternoon. So I just wanted to add that I think these little Arduino sets are the kind of equivalent from what those of us who were kids in the 70s and 80s had, which are things like the real, like the Radio Shack Electronics Projects Kit. I think the one I had was this one, although unfortunately there's only a small um, image here and not an image of the whole thing. But 1976, I would have probably got it in 77. So yeah, so that's about right. I remember this one being advertised. That's quite fun. Anyway. I think these, these Arduino kits of this type, like the one I just found, are very much the equivalent of these sorts of electronics projects kits because realistically, if you want to build something today, basing it on a microcontroller is a much more sensible approach than trying to learn how to build it out of 
you know, discrete transistors and, you know, with a meter and whatnot. You know, let's see. Well, there's a 75 in one. Well, maybe that's it. That looks like it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one I had. Anyway, maybe it was just the 75 in one, but you know, it's the same sort of deal. Rather than a breadboard, you get components that were spread out over a, uh, over a cardboard, I guess, breadboard, right? With little spring terminals, and then you got a bunch of different length wires to hook things up. There was enough to make an AM radio. You can see the tuning condenser here and the, and the ferrite rod, a bunch of resistors, some capacitors, um, a few transmit transistors, I think a couple of silicone and a, like an NPN and a PNP. I can't read it on there. It's too small. And then a couple of germanium. And there's your output transformer and a relay to play with. Very fun. I had a lot of fun with mine, mainly using it to make oscillators that made loud noises. Anyhow, so you can see why I'm attracted to picking up a, uh, the current equivalent in the yeah, in the Arduino kit of one sort or another, even if, you know, I don't really have much intention of making the projects. Thanks a lot. Good night.